Well, happy Wednesday morning. It's almost eight o'clock and it's a cloudy day here in Georgia. Good morning. Good morning. They say, or let me just say, he says, if you want something more, go ahead and testify to what he's done. So if you get funny about money, don't tune me off. Don't turn it off. Don't tune me out, right? Buckle on up and let's go ahead and attack this. So I just want to come on this morning and testify over some things that I hope have been true in your life. But if you haven't seen that, I want you to be encouraged by what I have to tell you this morning, what I have to testify to this morning. And I also want you to ask yourself, how can I start implementing this in my life, right? So I'm going to give you a little bit of history and then I'm going to give you some real current situations. Because like I said, if I want to see more of what has happened previously, I need to testify to what he's done so that the more can happen in the now. Yes? So when I uh, launched my business, uh, it's about 12 years ago, I guess, November of 11. I just hit the ground running and honestly just did it because I loved it. Wasn't even thinking about turning it into a business, was literally not thinking it would turn into what it did, right? But I remember there coming a time where I wanted to reach the rank of diamond and I felt Holy Spirit whisper, then start tithing what you want to make as a diamond. And so before I ever hit the rank, before I ever got the paycheck, I started writing $1,000 tithes, $1,000. Because if I want to make that, I'm going to sow into right rich soil. And oh my goodness, I just have to tell you, like creative divine inspirations came and he paved the pathway way quicker than I ever thought it would come. Okay, let's fast forward. So with our business, we actually live our lives in a way that is quite shocking to most. We only pay ourselves once a year. Okay, so we pay ourselves normally around November, maybe December. We pay ourselves once a year and then we live off it for the entire next year. And then we pay ourselves and then, okay, right. And we have done this for friends. Like I can't even tell you. Oh, we're going on, I don't know, eight years of this, right? Well, we didn't know in 21 when we paid ourselves that November that as of January of 22, we'd be buying a house. And as of February of 22, we'd be hightailing it across this nation. So let's just say that we didn't really think we would need so much extra reserves because who had a move on their radar? I sure didn't, <laughs> especially not as quickly as it happened. And so I remember it was May and I was in my time with the Lord and I was just like, listen, we are bare bones here. Like I know you are Yahweh, Yaira. I know I have been faithful and sowing into rich soil. I know that I have given not only tithes, but offerings. And so I am calling on your name, Yaira. I am calling on you to provide and lo and behold, once again, he gave me a creative download. I went and talked to my husband who was on board with it. We prayed into that solution and watched him not only give us what we asked for, but almost double. Friends, this is huge, okay? I also want to tell you about another thing. Before this desperate act, we had a big old bill hit us that just was not on our radar. And I remember thinking, okay, all right. And we've always lived our lives where we don't live paycheck to paycheck, right? We, we are smart. We're wise. We invest. We give all the things we're talking about. If money makes you funny, honey, go ahead and keep listening, right? Because everybody gets all funny about money. Listen. Good morning, Marcella. Don't y'all be getting funny about money because you need it to live. And by the way, I think believers should be some of the wealthiest people so that we can throw money at anything that he asks us to throw money at. Okay, so here we are, and again, we have this bill that hits us, and I'm like, wasn't planning on this, and this was, again, my reserves were getting down, I don't like them this low, you know, and all of a sudden, I get called into a specific office, and this person literally sat across from me and said, I was told to give this to somebody who was expanding the kingdom, and he handed me 
cash that covered the entire bill. Friends, I I could go on and on about this. So like I started my video, when you want to see more of something in your life, testify to what has happened. If you're sitting there thinking, A, that I'm full of it and none of this really happened, well, you can ask my husband, it really has. Oh, I have another one. So we have been homeschooling even before homeschooling was cool. And we decided homeschooling was just, it was no more uh, a healthy setup for our family. Okay. So I wanted to go to private school. Well, again, I wasn't interested in, um, for sure, not taking out a loan for that. But I remember there was a discount if you pay in full. And I was like, oh, we're paying in full. Four kids, private school. Okay. I don't know if you've ever researched private schools. Four kids. Okay. And so again, I am praying Yahweh, you are provider. You are Yahweh Yaira. I I'm praying into this situation. I have been faithful in giving. I have sowed in rich soil. I am all about your kingdom. I have absolutely changed my entire life to go advance your kingdom further. Right. And so I am calling, I'm pulling down on heaven and claiming your promises today. Once again, he gives a divine strategy. He shows us exactly how to not only pay for the school in full, but we had a little bit left over because how many of y'all know their school fees? Okay. Okay. So I am just coming to you this morning. What do you want more of in your life? What do you want more of? Because he is the God of of a, he is limitless. He is the God of not only reserves, but more than enough. He is the God of plenty. He is the God of abundance. So again, if, if you're not in need of a financial breakthrough, which by the way, I'm testifying to his goodness because there's another little thing I'm trusting him for. And it has to happen by the end of this year. And not only do I want it to happen like a uh, specific, meaning I need something specific, but why can't he go above and beyond that? Why can he not? He can. Oh my goodness, he can. And so what is it that you need more of today? Is it that you need healing in your body? Well, then testify to when he healed you before. Is it something that you need to trust him for uh, a relationship that is rich? Maybe a spiritual mother or a spiritual father will then testify to what he has provided for you before. Maybe it's that your kids are going haywire. And you need a little divine direction and a solution from heaven to go ahead and just straighten this path. Well, go ahead and testify to when he's touched your kids before. I need you to recognize that he has every answer before you ever knocked on heaven's door and asked. I need you to recognize that he not only knows who you are, but he designed you to be that way. You know those desires in your heart? What in the world are you feeling weird about them for or guilty? No, ma'am. No, sir. He put those desires in your heart. And so I need you to buckle up. Get in your prayer closet and not even weep and cry, but instead stand, praise, and go after the victory that is already yours. You're just waiting for it to manifest. Amen? Amen. So I hope this encouraged you this morning. I know that I was challenged by Holy Spirit to get on here and not only get real with you about the money funny business, but also testify to how so, so good he is. And I'll tell you one last story, actually. And by the way, this is not to toot anybody's horn, okay? This is kingdom. So go ahead and just recognize who he is and what he asks his kids to do. So my husband and I had literal pennies to our name when we got married. I mean, pennies to our name. We were in full-time ministry, didn't have nothing. I had just come off the foreign field. I lived in Venezuela for a year doing ministry. Okay. We had nothing, but we loved God so much. And that is who we were pursuing and who we were after. And I remember he asked us to buy a foreign minister, a foreign missionary, a car. I knew how much the car cost. I knew we really didn't have that. I mean, we had it in our bank, but you know, it was like we were living bare bones. 
And by the way, my husband and I only had one car to split between the two of us. And he worked full time and I worked full time and we were in full time ministry and it was crazy town, but we had no kids glory. And I thought I'm going to buy her a car like full out and I'm sitting here sharing a car. Okay. And I kid you not, I called the organization. I said, I need this to be an anonymous gift. She needs a car of this amount. I am giving the amount today in full. I need you to not ever say who it is. And I gave that and I was shaking in my boots doing it. Because again, we did not have much. We're talking pennies to our name. And I do not know. And this has never happened after. Okay. So let's just say when he calls you to give, you give. But y'all, the girl got her car and the money never left my account. What? Now you tell me what God can do that. The only one true living God. He was just testing me. He was testing me. If I call you to do something, will you be obedient when it's scary? Will you be obedient when you don't even feel like you're living in an abundance? Will you be obedient even though you wish you could put that money towards a car, right? And oh my goodness, I am telling you, the minute we needed a different vehicle, the minute we needed one to carry babies, okay, he provided a way for it to be bought in full. I'm talking cash. Ain't nobody ever had a car payment up in here, okay? Every single car we purchased up in full with cash. That is the God who you serve. So if you are drowning in debt today, I need you to hear that he wants you to be debt free. Okay. And the last thing, oh, I just have to end with this. I am launching something. If you have not joined me and this is about my business. Okay. But I'm going to testify to his goodness. And then I just have to put this blog. We are launching something, uh, just very next week. If you have not joined me in doTERRA, whether it's a customer, whether it is, uh, I mean, you just even love the oils enough to share them or you want to do a full on business. I'm telling you, I am telling you. We have dove into the territory of a limitless God. And I know that I will be able to look back and say he changed everything from this moment forward. So go ahead and document the day. Go ahead and document the time. You can either watch me or join me. It's totally up to you. So I hope you're encouraged today. I'm going to go ahead and get on in there and go attack some stuff. It's a good day to say hallelujah. It's a good day to praise the Lord. I'll be here same time, same place tomorrow, 8 a.m. Eastern. Hopefully it's not raining because today there's a little sprinkle going on. See y'all tomorrow. Hope you join me. Bye.